Hello. Should <laughs> I scare you? Hope not. Um, I'm back. Doing a little chatter. Um, tonight was the Christmas in Bayhead. Usually they have, you know, the school chorus and, you know, the truck by the firehouse, you know, and they sing and then they, uh, the instrumental band, the band comes on and does a few songs, um, but tonight they, um, they had this tent and everybody was in it, they had vendor, food vendors and stuff and they had, um, I guess a school band playing, I don't know whether it was our school band or the high school band or whatever. And, uh, they had, you know, drinks and, you know, food and, but I couldn't even get near the food because it was, that area was so packed. So, I just had a beer, um, and made a few, you know, ran into a few people and talked with them and didn't buy anything and, uh, it was a nice little gathering but was definitely different. Uh, none of the shops were open because, um, everybody was at the, uh, it was definitely different. Um, and, uh, I was able, however, to spread some Christmas, uh, cheer through my CD mixes, so I felt good about that. But I thought, like, you know, the, um, sh a few shops would be open and there would be that, uh, that little gathering at the firehouse, but that wasn't to be. I walked down Lake Avenue. It was weird, man. It was just like, I'm so used to seeing, um, you know, the, Chris the church lights on and, was just dark and dreary and just so sad, you know, just, uh, now the shops were open, it was just like so dreary, um, everyone, everything was contained in this big tent, probably the, the size of my room, you know, maybe a little longer, but I just, it was just so different, and, uh, it just wasn't the same. It what really wasn't. And, uh, just so sad. Yeah, it was happy to see everybody and, you know, uh, engaging conversation and have a beer and stuff. But it was so sad that the shops weren't open as, you know, it, it, it was, it was happy and sad at the same time. I thought it would be that thing under the tent and then the shops that could be open were open but that wasn't the case and uh I I even walk all the way down to uh the Bayhead Surf Shop and I'm walking down I'm walking down uh Lake Avenue and it was just I wanted to cry. I did I walked past uh, all saints and was dark and no lights or nothing. And I just miss that hustle and bustle, you know, that happiness and cheer. And I did, um, I did run into my uh, uh, close family friend Sheila, and oh my gosh, I was talking to her, and then um, some lady came along, and she was chatting away, and she and I kind of looked at each other. And I went to throw my cup out, and Sheila just split. I went, what the heck? <coughs> so, um, I don't know if that woman was drunk or just lonely chatty. I, I don't know. But I went to throw my cup out, and... I turned around and talked to Sheila, and she was gone. So I'm like, okay, uh, she flew the coop, and uh, I started walking home, and I heard, Trisha, Trisha, do you want to ride home? 
And there Sheila was across the street in a brand new car. Like, yeah. So I darted across the street, got into her car, and I like, she, you know, we pulled up to the house. I said, Sheila, it's just so good to see you. I was so worried about you. And like telling her all this, I broke down. I like tears. I like, <laughs> and I think she was touched by that because I was really concerned about her for weeks. But until like uh, two weeks ago when I got, you know, I shot her an email. I said, well, you know, and she replied, I'm like, okay, you're alive. <laughs> but it was just so good to see her, you know, and um, ah, I feel so much better now and closer to the Christmas spirit. I'm trying to bring my stuff down and get my stuff, uh, self motivated and decorated and stuff and it's hard, you know, because um, it's just so hard because you know there's people out there that are can't, you know, don't have a home, you know, and uh, or de don't have a place of their own to decorate, you know, they gotta, you know. It's hard, you know, but I got, I got, you know, I kept saying to myself, I got to motivate myself to do this. And I will. Either tonight or tomorrow. And, uh, it's just so hard, you know. I dropped some. Uh, okay, well. But, um, you can tell in her voice tonight, she's stressed, it was kind of hoarse, you can tell either she had a cold or just was dealing with stress, and some people when they are stressed out, they start, they go hoarse and they start to lose their voice, I think she's one of those people, and uh, yep, but uh, she's dealing with it day by day, dealing with the insurance and the FEMA and the, all that stuff. You know, it's not easy. And uh, she's renting this uh, place in uh, her friend's condo, but the rent is a little steep. But uh, I wonder about that. Like, when people rent this stuff out, do they, you know, do they... You know, rent it out for a higher price because they know you're out of, and they know they know you are out of house and home, and they you know they could take advantage of it, or I don't know. I I just wonder about that whether people take advantage of people who are uh, you know some of these people who say oh I got a house for rent you know do they take that opportune moment to make the extra buck, you know what I'm saying, I just, I wonder about that, because I remember right after, you know, things, the dust started to settle with the hurricane, you saw all these signs all over that place, you know, Bob, Bob Smith Builder called me for restaurant, you know, you, your advertisements were flying up left and right of people that, you know, wanted to, um, you know, take advantage and get work, and I wonder if it's because they wanted, needed work, or they were taking, aha, here's a great opportunity for me to get some work, you know. I wonder if it was real or not real or what. So anyway, that's my take on tonight. Um, I hope that, um, go to a few places tomorrow um yeah let's see how am I doing on time alright <laughs> I've got yeah, gone long enough and uh peace love and keep the good tunes spinning bye bye